Dear listeners, tonight I beckon you to step into a realm of dreams where hidden kingdoms lie in wait and the air is thick with magic and mystery. Relax, close your eyes, and let the story whisk you away to the mystical lands of Eldoria, where the courage of a young orphan, Ilara, will guide us through enchanted forests, treacherous mountains, and ancient trials. Prepare to be enchanted as we uncover secrets of royal heritage, wisdom, and the timeless power of destiny. Together, we will embark on a journey of wonder, bravery, and the discovery of a legacy long forgotten. The Lost Heir of Eldoria Journey to the Hidden Kingdom In the tranquil kingdom of Eldoria, Nestled among rolling hills and ancient forests lay the quaint village of Thistledown. This village was home to a young orphan named Elara. With no family to call her own, Elara lived a humble and solitary life, relying on the kindness of the villagers and her resourcefulness. Her days were spent tending to chores helping the elderly and exploring the forests surrounding Thistledown. Despite the simplicity of her existence, Elara often found herself yearning for something more, a feeling that there was something greater awaiting her. One fateful night, as the moon cast its silvery glow over the village, Elara fell into a deep and restless sleep, in the stillness of the night, she had a dream unlike any other. It began with a sensation of floating, as if she were being gently lifted from her bed and carried through the air. The village of Thistledown grew smaller and smaller beneath her, until it disappeared altogether, replaced by a landscape of breathtaking beauty and mystery. Alara dreamed that she was standing on the brink of a magical forest. The tall, majestic trees had ethereal light shimmering on their leaves. Scents of new dirt and blossoming flowers wafted through the branches in a gentle, melodious wind. The jungle seems to come alive as she tentatively moves forward. Tiny bright spheres danced in the air like fireflies lighting the route ahead. Hilara sensed an unsettling yet reassuring presence leading her as she made her way more into the woodland. The trail meandered through stands of old trees, beside sparkling streams in the moonlight, and across bridges fashioned from entwined vines. Hilara was captivated by the forest's splendor, but she had a feeling that her trek held more secrets. Suddenly the serene atmosphere was interrupted by a mysterious voice. It was soft and melodic, yet carried an air of authority. Alara, the voice whispered, shivering down her spine. Are you of the lost heir to a hidden kingdom? A realm that has awaited your return for many years, your heritage is nobility and greatness, and your destiny lies beyond these enchanted woods. The voice continued, weaving a tale of a royal lineage long forgotten, of a kingdom shrouded in secrecy and magic. Elara listened intently, her heart pounding with a mixture of excitement and apprehension, the vision showed her glimpses of her path, treacherous mountains shrouded in mist, mystical lands filled with wonders and dangers, and trials that would test her courage and resolve. The dream revealed to her a journey filled with trials and revelations, a quest to uncover the truth of her heritage and reclaim her rightful place.
As the vision unfolded, Elara saw herself facing challenges that seemed insurmountable, yet she felt a growing sense of purpose and determination. The voice guided her through each scene, offering cryptic hints and words of encouragement. Elara was standing in front of the gates of a vast, secret realm at the pinnacle of the vision. She was astounded by what she saw. Massive spires reaching high into the sky, walls covered in exquisite carvings, and an aura of old power permeating the entire space. The same voice spoke again, but this time it was urgent and comforting at the same time. Ilara, you have the fortitude and insight necessary to achieve, even though the road ahead won't be simple. You will learn the truth about your lineage and your future if you stick to the road that has been shown to you. With those final words the dream began to fade. Elara felt herself being gently pulled back to the waking world. She awoke with a start, the vision still vivid in her mind. The room was dark, but the sense of purpose and determination she had felt in the dream lingered. Clara knew that her life was about to change forever. She had been given a glimpse of her true destiny, and she was determined to uncover the truth, no matter what challenges lay ahead. Determined to follow the path revealed to her, Ilara began to prepare for her journey. She gathered what little provisions she had, packing a small satchel with essentials. The villagers, though puzzled by her sudden decision, offered their support and well wishes. With a heart full of hope and determination, Ilara set off on her quest. She stepped into the enchanted forest that bordered the village of Thistledown, feeling a sense of awe and trepidation. The forest was alive with magic, its ancient trees whispering secrets, and its air filled with a shimmering, almost palpable energy. Each step she took seemed to echo with the promise of discovery, her senses heightened by the enchantment that surrounded her. The path through the forest was winding and mysterious, flanked by towering trees whose leaves glittered like emeralds. As she ventured deeper, Elara began to notice the presence of magical creatures. Fairies flitted about, their wings sparkling in the dappled sunlight. Unicorns grazed peacefully in clearings, their horns glowing softly. Even the birdsong seemed to carry an otherworldly melody, filling the air with a sense of wonder. Elara felt a strange connection to these creatures, as if they recognized her and were silently guiding her. She marveled at the beauty and tranquility of the forest, but she knew her journey was only beginning. Her dream had revealed a path filled with trials and revelations, and she was determined to uncover the truth of her heritage. After several days of traveling through the enchanted forest, Elara came upon a small secluded glade. In the center stood an ancient tree, its bark twisted and gnarled with age. Beneath its sprawling branches sat an old sage named Alden. His eyes twinkled with wisdom and kindness, and he greeted Ilara with a knowing smile. I have been expecting you, Ilara, Alden said, his voice warm and gentle. You are the lost heir to a hidden kingdom, a realm that has awaited your return for many years. Elara was taken aback by his words, 
but she felt an immediate trust in the old sage. She sat down beside him, eager to hear more. Alden began to tell her the story of her true lineage, a tale of nobility and greatness long forgotten. He spoke of a hidden kingdom, a place of unparalleled beauty and magic that had once thrived under the rule of her ancestors. So your parents were the last to rule the hidden kingdom, Alden explained. But tragedy struck and the kingdom was lost to time and memory. You were hidden away in Eldoria for your protection, and the kingdom has awaited your return ever since. As Ilara listened, she felt a surge of emotions. Sadness for the loss of her parents and her homeland, but also a fierce determination to reclaim what was rightfully hers. Alden's words filled her with a sense of purpose, and she knew she had to continue her journey to uncover the full truth of her heritage. Guided by Alden, Elara ventured beyond the enchanted forest, braving the perils of perilous mountains. The terrain was rugged and treacherous, with cliffs and narrow pathways that tested her courage and resolve. The mountains were shrouded in mist, adding an air of mystery and danger to her journey. Ilara's determination never wavered, and with Alden's guidance she navigated the challenges with growing confidence. As they travelled, Alden continued to share stories of the hidden kingdom's rich history. He spoke of its majestic castles, lush landscapes and the powerful magic that had once flowed through its lands. Elara learned about the great rulers who had come before her, their wisdom and their bravery. Each story added another piece to the puzzle of her destiny, helping her understand the legacy she was meant to uphold. Their journey also took them through mystical lands filled with wonders and dangers. They crossed fields of blooming flowers that changed colours with the wind, navigated through the dense fog that whispered secrets of the past, and encountered ancient guardians who tested their resolve. Along the way, Alara's bond with Alden grew stronger, and she began to see him not just as a guide, but as a mentor and friend. In one particularly magical land, they came upon a crystal-clear lake that shimmered under the moonlight. As they approached its edge, Alden urged Alara to peer down into its depths. She saw visions of her parents as she stared into the sea. She saw their loving, kind features and proud eyes. She had a vision of herself as a young girl, playing in the secret kingdom's gardens, while surrounded by happiness and laughter. She felt more like a part of her family, and understood her history better as a result of the visions. Elara's journey was not just about discovering the truth of her lineage, but also about discovering herself. With each step, she grew more confident in her abilities and more certain of her destiny. The trials she faced and the revelations she uncovered shaped her into a strong and determined young woman, ready to reclaim her rightful place. With a sense of closure, Alden talked to Elara as their voyage through the mythical kingdoms came to a close. Elara, you have come a long way, but your trip is far from over. The ultimate test of your bravery and intelligence is waiting for you in the secret kingdom. Recall everything you have learned and everything you are. Since you are the rightful successor, you must bring the kingdom back to its former splendor. Ilara felt a fresh feeling of purpose after hearing Alden's words reverberate in her heart. 
She was prepared to accept her fate as the lost heir of the hidden kingdom and to confront any obstacles that could come her way. Even though there was still a lot of uncertainty in her path, she knew that she could succeed if she had hope, perseverance, and the support of people who believed in her. Ilara was prepared to learn the truth and take her rightful place in the legendary history of the Hidden Kingdom, which was waiting for her. Ilara's journey was fraught with challenges, each one more daunting than the last. Her path was not a straightforward one. It was filled with numerous tests designed to prove her worthiness as the rightful heir to the Hidden Kingdom. Each trial demanded courage, intelligence and compassion qualities that Ilara needed to cultivate and demonstrate to succeed. The first significant trial came as Ilara traversed a treacherous mountain pass. The path was narrow and winding, flanked by cliffs on one side and a sheer drop on the other. The air was thin and cold, and the ground was unstable, prone to sudden shifts and slides. As she carefully made her way along the precarious route, she heard a distant rumble. The sound grew louder, and before long she saw a massive landslide barreling down the mountain, threatening a small village nestled in the valley below. Without hesitation, Alara sprang into action. Using her quick thinking and resourcefulness, she devised a plan to divert the landslide. She rallied the villagers, organizing them into teams to create barriers and trenches to redirect the flow of debris. Her leadership and bravery inspired the villagers, and together they worked tirelessly to save their homes. When the landslide finally subsided, the village was intact and the people were safe. The villagers, deeply grateful for Ilara's heroism, pledged their loyalty to her, recognizing her as a true leader. Buoyed by this victory, Ilara continued her journey, entering a mystical land filled with wonders and enigmas. This land was home to ancient riddles that had baffled scholars for centuries. The riddles were inscribed on towering stone monuments, each one more complex and cryptic than the last. To progress, Ilara had to solve these puzzles, relying on her wit and intuition. The first riddle she encountered was carved into a stone archway at the entrance to the mystical land. It read, I speak without a mouth and hear without ears. I have nobody, but I come alive with the wind. What am I? Ilara pondered the riddle, recalling the teachings and stories she had learned from Alden. After some contemplation, she realized the answer was an echo. As she spoke the answer aloud, the archway glowed and opened, allowing her to pass through. As she ventured deeper into the mystical land, the riddles became more challenging. One riddle, etched into the side of a grand obelisk, read, I can be cracked, made, told, and played. What am I? Elara thought long and hard, considering all possible answers. Finally she smiled and said, A joke. The obelisk shifted, revealing a hidden passageway. With each riddle she solved, Elara grew more confident and resilient. Her intelligence and determination shone through, and she earned the respect and admiration of those who witnessed her successes. The mystical land, once a place of mystery and challenge, became a testament to her growing strength and wisdom. Throughout her journey, 
Ilara met many people who played crucial roles in her trials. She encountered wise elders who shared their knowledge, skilled artisans who crafted tools to aid her, and brave warriors who fought by her side. Each person she met contributed to her understanding of leadership and the responsibilities that came with it. Their support and guidance were invaluable, helping her navigate the many obstacles she faced. In one particularly memorable trial, Ilara was tasked with retrieving a sacred artifact from a hidden temple guarded by powerful enchantments. The temple's entrance was sealed by a magical lock that could only be opened with a special key which had been lost for generations. Ilara, undeterred, searched the surrounding area and pieced together clues left by previous explorers. Her perseverance paid off when she discovered the key hidden in an ancient grove. Using the key, she unlocked the temple and retrieved the artifact, earning the respect of the temple's guardians and further solidifying her claim to the throne. With each victory, Elara's bond with the hidden kingdom grew stronger. She began to see herself not just as a traveller or an adventurer, but as a leader with a purpose. Her trials taught her valuable lessons about bravery, wisdom and compassion, shaping her into the queen she was destined to become. As Ilara continued to overcome the trials set before her, she realized that these challenges were preparing her for the ultimate test reclaiming her throne and leading her kingdom to a new era of peace and prosperity. The journey had been long and arduous, but it had also been transformative. Ilara had grown from a humble orphan into a confident and capable leader, ready to embrace her destiny and fulfill her role as the rightful heir to the Hidden Kingdom. After many trials and challenges, Ilara finally reached the Hidden Kingdom. Her heart swelled with awe as she beheld a place of unparalleled beauty and magic. The kingdom was nestled in a valley surrounded by majestic mountains, with lush forests and sparkling rivers weaving through the land. Ancient castles and towers, their walls adorned with intricate carvings, stood as testaments to a rich and storied past. However, despite the kingdom's enchanting beauty, there was an air of melancholy, a sense of neglect that hinted at the suffering endured in the absence of its rightful ruler. The people of the Hidden Kingdom had long awaited the return of their heir, but as Ilara approached, she could see the wariness in their eyes. The kingdom had been without a leader for many years, and hope had waned. Whispers of doubt and suspicion echoed through the streets as Ilara made her way to the heart of the kingdom. Yet undeterred by their uncertainty, Ilara remained resolute. She knew that her wisdom and courage would soon prove her worthy of their trust. Ilara's first task was to address the Council of Elders, a group of wise and influential leaders who had guided the kingdom in the absence of a monarch. The council was skeptical of her claim, demanding proof of her lineage and worthiness. Ilara recounted her journey, detailing the trials she had faced and the revelations she had uncovered. She spoke with a passion and sincerity that touched the hearts of those present. Her words were not just a recitation of her adventures, but a testament to the strength and character she had developed along the way. 
The council, though impressed by her story, required more than words. They devised one final test, a trial that would determine her fate as the heir. This test was designed to challenge every aspect of her being, her intellect, bravery, and compassion. The trial involved retrieving a sacred artifact from the depths of the kingdom's most treacherous cave, a task that had thwarted many before her. With the support of those she had helped along her journey, Elara set out to face this final trial. The villagers she had saved from the landslide, the scholars she had aided with her riddle-solving prowess, and the warriors she had fought alongside all rallied behind her. Their encouragement and faith in her abilities fortified her resolve. The cave was dark and foreboding, its entrance hidden behind a waterfall that cascaded with a thunderous roar. Elara navigated through the cave's labyrinthine passages, her path illuminated by the faint glow of bioluminescent fungi. The air was thick with the scent of damp earth and the sound of dripping water. As she ventured deeper, she encountered a series of challenges designed to test her limits. First she faced a guardian, a colossal stone golem that blocked her path. Using her agility and wit, Ilara outmaneuvered the golem, finding a weak point in its structure and disabling it. Next she encountered a chamber filled with ancient glyphs and symbols. Drawing on the knowledge she had gained from the scholars, she deciphered the symbols and unlocked the chamber's hidden mechanism, revealing a hidden passage. Finally, Ilara reached the heart of the cave where the sacred artifact rested on an altar, bathed in a soft, ethereal light. As she approached, a voice resonated through the chamber, echoing the words of her ancestors. The voice spoke of the responsibilities and challenges of leadership, reminding her of the legacy she was about to inherit. Elara listened with reverence, her heart swelling with a sense of duty and honor. She took the artifact, a beautifully crafted scepter, and made her way back to the kingdom. Upon her return, the council and the people of the kingdom awaited her at the castle gates. When they saw the scepter in her hand, a wave of realization and acceptance washed over them, Elara had proven herself not only through her actions, but also through the qualities she embodied. The council, recognizing her as the true heir, bestowed upon her the crown with great celebration. Elara's coronation was a grand affair, filled with music, feasting, and joyous festivities. The kingdom once shrouded in sorrow, now buzzed with excitement and hope. Under her rule the hidden kingdom flourished, its people united and prosperous. Lara's wisdom and courage brought about a new era of peace and prosperity, and her legacy endured as a testament to her resilience and the enduring power of her spirit. The tale of the lost heiress and the hidden kingdom was passed down through generations, becoming a cherished story that inspired and uplifted the people of Eldora. It served as a reminder that even in the darkest of times the light of hope and destiny could lead to the most extraordinary of journeys. Lara's journey from orphan to queen was a beacon of hope, demonstrating that true leadership came from within and that anyone, no matter their beginnings, 
could rise to greatness. Dear listeners, may your dreams be filled with wonder and your heart with the courage of Ilara. Until we meet again for another enchanting adventure, good night and may you sleep peacefully, knowing that even the most hidden kingdoms can be found. <laughs>